Bom dia, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi Taihutu, and yes, I am the guy that four years ago with his family sold literally everything he owned, went all into Bitcoin, and started traveling the world. Now, four years later, coming to you guys from Lagos in Portugal, walking to the beach now from my house, where I will talk to you about blockchain. Bitcoin and life. In today's video, of course, bombing you with really cool Bitcoin charts, also some really cool DD Bam Bam indicator charts, there is one huge warning for a scam Uniswap app on the Google Play Store, guys, that I want to warn you for. So I will do it in this intro and I will repeat it in the video. Huge scam. I saw it on Digital Asset News and also talking about um, if you would have invested in one of the Bitcoin mining companies, you would have been outperforming even Bitcoin's profits. Also guys, today is not my best day. It is the 21st of November. Today is 18 years ago that my mother um, died. A sad day, but also a beautiful day because again, I get reminded to how I should li live life to the fullest and how I should not fear life. That all in this video, guys. I hope you really enjoy the video. So start watching and please watch it till the end. Yes, I know I promised you guys that there would be a Gokstein Media episode on Friday evening. That would, would have been the first. There were some technical difficulties why we couldn't post it. Um, probably this Sunday. And if not, guys, we need to postpone this one to next Friday. Very sorry for this. I, I know I always keep my promises and I will keep and I will make this new episode, this first episode, even way better. I could see in the comments yesterday that you really like that I start with the Bitcoin price. So, starting with the Bitcoin TA part today as well. BAM! In this part, guys, I'm starting with a chart that I found on the Machina Trader platform. You know Machina Trader is one of the supporters of the tour. They also have this community platform where you can read all the daily news, where you can read some charts, um, like Facebook, where you even they can build up your own pages, your own groups, and where you can, you can create content on the Machina Trader platform. That is a site of the automated trading that they are going live with in the next couple of weeks. So you can also join the community and you know, they incentivize people with all these points that you can earn. And you know, it's, it's a really cool, cool community. Use my affiliate link to sign up. And of course you will automatically be added to the Bitcoin family group on the Machina Trader platform. But I found this chart on the Machina Trader platform. Really cool chart, this one. Bam! On this chart, guys, you can see the bull run of 2017. If you look, zoom into the chart, you can even see the levels Bitcoin reach and the dips it reach and all that stuff. But the beautiful part of this chart is that if you look to the top of the chart, you can see the RSI. And this RSI was indicating that Bitcoin was overbought during the 2017 run a lot of times. You can see this in these blue spikes on top of the chart. You can see when you start the 2017 bull run till the top, you see many times this RSI becoming overbought and going down and overbought, overbought. This is what indicates that we are completely in the last part of the bull run. Now look at 2019 on that chart. In that run to 14K, you can again see the RSI above this blue area and you can see this, you know, overbought signal. That indicated again the top of 2019. Now look at today. Today you can see the same. We are just starting. We are just entering this overbought area for the first time in this bull run. So if you look to the left on the chart and you can see how often we got that signal of overbought in 2017, then you should be realizing now that we are just getting started. We are just getting started. This is the beginning of the bull run. Yes, we will see a correction, but after this correction, guys, we will continue again. And again, we will have a correction. And after that correction, we will continue again. And this is exactly what you can see if you look at this chart, this one. Bam! 
this chart was created by Charles BTC. On this chart, guys, you can see the complete Bitcoin history and you can see the moments of the halving. You can even see in the top how many Bitcoins were created between the halvings. So in the next four years, since the halving in May, 1.3 million Bitcoins will be mined and will be brought into the market, which will bring the total amount of Bitcoins in the four years. So that's in 2024. Then the total amount of Bitcoins will have been around 19,800,000, as we are now around 18, 18,500,000. So you can see in this four year cycle, only 1.3 million Bitcoins will be added to the market. So if you look to the history, guys, you can see what happened every time after this halving. After the halving, you can see the Bitcoin increased explosively in price every time again. And if you look at the halving that we just had in May, you can see the start of the same run again. You can see the line curling up. If we would repeat what we have done in the previous halving, we would go up one square and one square would bring us to 100,000 US dollar. If we underperform the previous bull run guys, we will go up like a half square or something, which will still bring us to 50,000 US dollar in Bitcoin. So that is why I believe next year we will see a Bitcoin price between 50,000 US dollar and 100,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. Really cool charts. Thanks Charts PTC for sharing these things on Twitter. And the fact guys that the next four years only 1.3 million new Bitcoins will enter the market tells me or shows me, however you say it in English, but tells or shows me that there will be a shortage in new Bitcoins because all these huge companies are buying up all the Bitcoins. I will come back to that later in the blockchain slash news part. So keep watching to the end because I want to show you something very important about this Bitcoin shortage we will see in the next years. But let's first take a look at these DD Bam Bam charts because they are bamming onto your screen and they are showing you the Bam Bam profit we made last couple of days again. First thing I'm going to share with you guys is this one. Bam! Oh, bam! Oh, my voice is gone. Yes, because I drank too much rum yesterday on a beautiful evening, but I will keep that one to the end of the video and I will share a video of that beautiful evening but in the family part yes I need to prepare you for what is coming next but on this first DD Bam Bam chart this one BAM you can see that we can reach the 20k price around the 23rd of November because that will be the top of this channel at that moment in my opinion it will take a little bit longer it will take till between 25th and 27th of November. Yes, that is next week that we should arrive at a 20k Bitcoin price and be creating a new all-time high. And, and when we create this new all-time high, in my opinion, we should see a correction. But also there, I have some doubt because what is happening into the market. But again, I will talk about that in the blockchain news part. But let's see if this Fibonacci retracement and the fan and the DD Pam Bam indicator are right and then we will see a Bitcoin 20k price around the 25th to the 27th of November. The second Bam Bam chart guys is the 19th of November. This one, Bam! Just shortly showing you how we performed with the DD Bam Bam indicator on the 19th of November. Like you can see on this chart guys, um, we started with 250 US dollar, this time not the 1% rule, just 250 US dollar to make the calculation more easy. In total, from this 250 US dollar, we made 540 US dollar. It was a profit of 290 US dollar made with an investment of 250 US dollar in Bitcoin. So just following these five signals could have made you 190 US dollar. If you want to pause the video and look at the details, be my guest. But I don't want to talk too much of the Bam Bam indicator because then you might say, you're only doing it to make money. Yes, we do but we share this money with the poor people we meet all over the world because that is the goal in my life. I want to be internally happy. Internally happy, I become of giving. So yes, I make some money with this. I'm honest, but I will share it. And I will share that again in my videos with you as well, guys. And also check the right bottom of the chart, this green text, because this is giving you some ed education on how we use the DD Bam Bam indicator. So watch this. Uh, you know, all these charts I'm sharing is one, educational, and two, yes, I'm fishing you in to the Didi Bam Bam indicator because I believe this can provide you with the freedom you're searching for. 
or you don't want to be stuck behind the computer, so you need the Bam Bam Indicator, or you want to become a digital nomad, and you want to have a source of income, and you have a starting capital, and you can use that starting capital, capital to trade, for example. You only need a laptop then, and you did the Bam Bam Indicator. And then you start to make profit every month, and you can live off those profits as a digital nomad all over the world, on beautiful places like here, Lagos and Portugal. This is an amazing place here. And it's an amazing time to start trading, guys, because you can see on this chart, bam, that the volume on exchanges is very low. Yes, more and more people are huddling their Bitcoins. That is what you can see in this line, this huddle line going up, and you can see the volume on exchanges going down. This means there is not a lot of volume in these exchanges, so it's a little bit more easy, I think, to trade. Because if there is a lot of volume, we'll also have a lot of wicks up and downwards. So now it's a little bit more easy to start trading, in my opinion. But also very beautiful to see the amount of people just huddling their Bitcoins is increasing tremendously. Really cool chart, really cool information. People are huddling instead of trading because they learn their lessons. A lot of people lose with trading as well. That is also why I think the DD Bam Bam indicator is very important because it protects many people in losing. Yes, we will take you into the Discord server and we will educate you on how we trade and how we are always cautious with trading. We don't over leverage, we just leverage with them and we just trade with 1% of the Bitcoin price. So if you wanna have more information guys, go to the Discord server and check the DD Bam Bam section over there. And also guys, the 20th, yes, that is yesterday, we made profit like you can see on this chart, bam. Also, 15 minute chart, we are playing with 1% of the Bitcoin price, which was, I think, 185 US dollar, and we are playing with a leverage of 10. We started with 185 US dollar, and we ended with 320 US dollar. So that's a profit of about 140 US dollar yesterday. Um, just pause the video and check the chart if you want to calculate all the things, because I'm talking already too much about the BAM BAM indicator. Let's BAM to the next section. Let's BAM into the blockchain slash news part. First thing guys, is very important. It's a huge warning, warning, slowly. <laughs> yes, there is a fake Uniswap app on the Google Play Store. It's called Uniswap Dex. I saw this on the digital asset news guys. He was calling this a scam of the day. So thank you for helping this community and protecting this community from all these scams. Watch out, if you want to download the Uniswap app, don't use the Uniswap DEX app. It's a scam. Some people already lost 20,000 US dollar. That's a shitload of money you can lose by just downloading the wrong app. So we need to protect the community for this. I'm very thankful that Digital Asset News showed me this news so I can show it again to you guys. And also be aware of all the scammers down below my videos. All those people posting their telephone numbers or calling themselves Hacker Noon, Hacker Bam, Hacker Bomb. Don't trust them your Bitcoins. I will never ask you down below my videos to send me a text to the manager or a certain telephone number or all that stuff. If I would advise you, it would be about the DD Bam Bam indicator, and then you would need to send an email to dd.bam at gmx.com and nothing else. There is no other email address, there is no other telegram group, there is no other anything. It's all scammers. And I just leave them there because I don't have the time to get rid of them. And on the other side, you know, they push up my comments. <laughs> Let them believe they are scamming you. We are too smart, we help each other, we are not being scammed and let them give my video some more thumbs up because that's how we treat scammers. Make sure my videos get thumbs up, but we will never believe you guys. So yes, even if there is like 20 comments below one scam comment and it looks like, oh, this scammer helped me. Oh, how did he help me? Yeah, I could send him 0.1 Bitcoin. He made 0.5 Bitcoin. I received it the next day. Don't believe it. Scam, scam, scam. So let's take a look at this next news article. Bam, a small bam because it's a smaller news than the previous news. But yes, there was this Riot blockchain mining company, and you could have invested in this mining company as well, instead of Bitcoins. And why am I sharing this with you guys? Because the stock price of this mining company increased more than the Bitcoin price. The stock price of this company in 2020 increased with 390%, and the Bitcoin price rose with about 170%. 
So having invested in this stock of a mining company could have given you a better profit than investing in Bitcoin. This reminds me to what happened in the gold rush. Because in the gold rush, who do you think made the most money? Was it the gold diggers? Was it the gold digging companies? Or was it the people selling the shovels? Yes, the last one. That one made a shitload of profit because everybody needed the shovel. So now this reminds me to this, that these Bitcoin mining companies might become the shovels of the 21st century because they are mining. Or maybe even guys like me selling the Didi Bam Bam indicator, they become the shovels of the 21st century because they also earn a living out of providing something that has to do with this Bitcoin rush instead of the gold rush. And this gold rush brings me to the next item, the very important item, why I think we will have a supply crisis in Bitcoin, which I already talked about, talked about in many more videos. There will be a supply crisis because there's another big player that entered the market and started to buy up a shitload of Bitcoins. These are buying up 70% of the newly mined Bitcoins. Their name is PayPal. Yes, PayPal is buying up a shitload of Bitcoins around 70% of the newly mined Bitcoins. And then we have Grayscale also buying up all the Bitcoins possible. And then we have MicroStrategy. And then we have the Hiba 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 Andele, that one. I talked about in the video like two days ago. He is buying up a shitload of Bitcoins. And then we have all the other billionaire friends that start to buy up all the Bitcoins. So that is why I say there will be a supply crisis. There won't be enough Bitcoins around to fulfill the needs of all those people. And we are just getting started. The biggest companies in the world still need to enter. If Apple will enter and do the same move with, as PayPal did, you know, provide people access to Bitcoin by using the Apple Pay, if that would happen, then Apple would need to buy a shitload of Bitcoins to fulfill the needs of all those people that wanna buy Bitcoins through Apple Pay. So yes, there will be a shitload of demand for Bitcoin and the supply is not increasing. In the next four years, only 1.3 million Bitcoins extra will be entering the market, like you can see in the beginning of this video. So yes, the more the demand will grow and the supply will stay the same, the higher the Bitcoin price will go. This is a logical, logical explanation. I can't make it more logical. This is the moment to step into Bitcoin. Yes, you can wait for the dip a little bit, but start to accumulate Bitcoin. Maybe you dollar cost average, which means you buy a little bit Bitcoin now. If it dips, you buy a little bit extra. If it then dips, you buy again a little, dip, little bit extra. If it goes up again, you buy a little bit extra. And so you reach an average price for the Bitcoins you bought. But believe me, when all those people start to buy all the Bitcoins out there, and there won't be more Bitcoins than 21 million in the future, we will see Bitcoin prices over 100,000 US dollar in the future. And then an investment now of $13,000 or $16,000 doesn't matter anymore. Because if you own one Bitcoin and Bitcoin goes to 100,000 US dollar, do you really think that when Bitcoin then reaches 100,000 US dollar, I, I cannot speak anymore, so big are the numbers, but do you really think that when Bitcoin reaches 100,000 US dollar, guys, that you then care about, ah, oh, I bought Bitcoin 3K cheaper or 2K cheaper or $500 cheaper. So if you're freaking out now, so if you are experiencing FOMO, fear of missing out, so if you're in the charts like, oh, when do I buy, when do I buy? What the fuck does it care if you believe that Bitcoin will end up at 100,000 US dollar? You will have like 3K less profit. That's what I said in yesterday's video. Don't focus on the profit you didn't have. Focus on the profit you have. If you buy now, at $16,000 and we will go to $100,000, you will have 84,000 US dollar profit. Do you really think that you are bothered at that point that you could have had 86,000 US dollar of profit? That's why I say don't freak out, always zoom out. I wanna end the video with honoring my mother. She's now in heaven and yes, Normally I would be sad, but I can't be sad anymore because, you know, it's 18 years ago and she taught me so many wise lessons in the beginning of my life that I am able to live this life the way I am doing now. There is one thing she always told me 
and maybe she even doesn't remember it anymore maybe it's too small for her even to remember it was Didi don't fear to live life don't fear life these couple of words changed my whole attitude to life why would we fear life why would we fear all these new adventures that are like just in front of us why do we say always no to so many things in life why don't we just embrace life, accept it how it is, and just go with the flow and just don't fear it? I think this is the biggest lessons my mother gave me when I was young. It was just a few simple words. Don't fear life. And that's what I'm now not doing. And I'm teaching my kids the same. To never fear life. Never fear anything in life. Not a flu, not an animal, nothing. What will need to happen will probably happen. It's a mystery, guys. We don't know how it took 13.8 billion years to come where we are now. And we cannot predict the future. We cannot predict tomorrow. We cannot predict what is happening in 10 minutes now. So why fear those things that you can't predict? Don't fear life. Live life to the fullest every single minute of the day. Don't fear it. You can't fear the unknown because you don't know what it is. If there is 0.001% of the humanity that died because of a flu, you don't fear a flu. You think logical. There's a very small percentage that I will die because of this flu. You don't fear it. You don't fear life. You live life. So that's why I wanted to end this video with this part of my mother. I want to thank my mother out there for giving me that really wise life lesson. Thank you, mom for teaching me to not fear life and I hope guys by making these videos dailies because they cost me a shitload of time and we don't make a shitload of money with, with all these videos but I just hope guys that my positivity and my energy that I put into these videos and I try to show to you guys on these videos that it will affect you that it will give you another opinion about life that it maybe will make you happy you know even if I make one person happy in a day because of my videos because of my funny jokes because of all the stuff I do that I reached my goal because that one person will leave this YouTube screen with a very happy feeling will walk into the world or will go to his job or will go to his friend whatever he's going to do and he will feel happy and when when he feels happy I am sure that all his friends will notice this and they become happy as well so that is why I create this content I think that it is very important to realize that even a few small words can change a person's complete life. Small things matter, guys. So every time if you meet somebody, if there is somebody in trouble, help him. Give him a helping hand. If he is sad, comfort him. Only with a few words you can change his attitude to life. And that's what I try with these videos. I hope with all these words, I'm not saying a few words, I'm sh like, I, I'm talking too much, always talking too much. But I just hope that with talking too much, I can reach some people and I can change their attitude to life as well. And not only attitude to Bitcoin and blockchain, all the monetary stuff, but to life as well. That was everything for today, guys. Um, I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the video, Please give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and community, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and please leave a comment down below as I love to respond to your comments. Maybe those three words that I will respond to you guys will help you become happy today and then your energy will spread among your friends that you meet today. I'm going to edit this video, chill today, I'm going to zoom out on the charts and I'm going to zoom in at life with my family because that is exactly what life is about. And today is a beautiful day for me to remember my mother with a dinner or a lunch or whatever we will do and just chill the fuck out the rest of the day. I wanna thank you for watching the video again and hopefully see you Monday again because Sunday is my off day. Thanks for watching guys and I wish you an amazing weekend. Bye.